Last week I was at a customer site and I was talking to a supervisor about doing training with Mastercam. At the time he didn't think there was an urgent need for the training and one of his guys from the floor came in and said that Mastercam made an error. It uh, drilled a hole in the half the diameter out of position. At this point I smiled and explained to him I don't think Mastercam did it by itself. Let's take a look at the file and see what happened. After looking at the file we saw that the edge of a hole or the endpoint of an arc was selected instead of what he intended for the be the center of the arc. In this video I'm going to show you how to prevent making the same mistake. You need to understand how the geometry of Mastercam works a little bit here. A circle has a few different points to it. It has a start and end point. It has a midpoint of the arc which is halfway half the distance around. It also has its center point. If you're not careful you can select the wrong point. So in this case here I'm going to select the outside of the circle which gives me the center point. This case is what I want. It's good. But if I hadn't zoomed in like I am here, I could easily have selected the start end point or possibly the midpoint of the arc. Either or would have given me a, a hole out of position by half the diameter of the circle. Solids are, work pretty much the same way. Um, you can select the outside diameter. If you hover you can see this little circle next to my pointer here which tells me I've got the center of the circle. For some reason we don't get the same preview on the wireframe. So I can select the center that way. I can also hover in the center of an entity and get that whether it be a circle or a solid. I can select the outside or the start endpoint as I can in the wireframe example. Or I can select the midpoint of the arc. Those are the two items I want to avoid selecting. In this case here, I've zoomed in tight. I can see it pretty easily. But imagining have a series of holes that are large and maybe a couple small ones mixed in. If you don't zoom in on the small ones you can have a problem. The other thing you can do to prevent this issue from happening is go to your selection bar here and at the pull down pick arc center and I'll lock that. This does not allow me to pick the other two points anymore on either the solid or the wireframe. I'm going to automatically get the center of my circles. And this I recommend doing, if, especially if you're selecting a lot of uh, centers at one point in time. Uh, it'll keep you from having an issue. The other thing I'd recommend is once you're done selecting them is to turn it off because occasionally you don't want the center of an entity and it's not only circles that will get the center of, it could be a line or another entity. If you want to go back and unlock the center, you can go back and select auto cursor and it'll go back to the default function. If you have it locked on, you can also hit the escape key twice. The first time it will unlock it second time will bring you back to the default auto cursor. 